The Alaska Noble Companion Dog is a rare breed with wolf appearance and intelligent and watchful temperament. In this video I will tell you interesting and important facts and information about the Alaska Noble Companion Dog. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you would like the Alaska Nobles and you would love to see more of them, definitely check them out. Links are in description. If you like the appearance of wolf dogs and wolves in general, then you will love the look of Alaska Noble Companion Dog, because these dogs are made up to resemble the wolves. On the first side, the Alaska Nobles are athletic dogs with well-muscled and agile body. The average height should be between 26 to 33 inches, which is 66 to 84 centimeters, and weight is typically between 60 to 110 pounds, which is 27 to 50 kilograms. Some individuals, especially males, can be even larger than that. This is always a double-coated dog with very dense and relatively long coat, medium to long. The coat length can vary, and it's typically somewhere in between the coat length of GSD and Alaskan Malamute. These dogs do shed, and if you want to minimize the shedding, regular, even daily brushing is needed. But it's impossible to stop the shedding. Also, thanks to the dense coat, these dogs are able to withstand very cold temperatures. Most often these dogs have lighter colored eyes. Typical eye colors include green, yellowish, amber and blue. Dark brown eyes are not very common with this breed. These dogs can also show heterochromia, which means that they can have each eye in different color. It's obvious that these dogs resemble wolves, so there is a logical question. Is this a wolf dog or just a dog with a wolf-like appearance? And even though some people claim that they do not have any wolf blood in them, all the DNA results of Alaska nobles I have seen showed some wolf content in this breed. Some showed relatively low wolf content, but others show very high wolf content, even over 30%. So yes, it's safe to say that this is a wolf dog. The breeding started several decades ago in 1990s and the dog breeds used in the breeding process are Alaskan Malamutes, Siberian Huskies and German Shepherds. Later these dogs were also crossed with some other breeds to adjust their temperament and those include breeds such as Labradors, Border Collies, Greyhounds and others. It's important to mention that this is not officially recognized breed and it's said that it's still a breed in development and it does not look that they will be recognized by any major kennel club anytime soon. One of the reasons why it will be very hard to officially recognize them is the inconsistency in their temperament. The low content Alaska nobles are generally more manageable than the high content ones. Ideally, the low-content Alaska Nobles are very intelligent and loyal dogs that are hard-working and able to perform greatly in variety of jobs, but it's not always the case. These dogs tend to be very intelligent and excellent problem solvers, but it doesn't mean they are pushovers to train, because they can also be very independent. Because of that, they need patient and consistent trainer who will show them the boundaries. But you should always stay positive and use positive reinforcement during the training, meaning you should always praise and reward the dog for good behavior. Patience and consistency is a key when training any dog breed. This is not a dog for novices or unexperienced owners. These dogs are also normally very watchful, alert and observant, especially towards strangers. It can definitely take a while before a stranger will gain a trust of this dog. The Alaska Nobles tend to be very loyal to its pack, to its family, but they are not overly affectionate as some other breeds. The Alaska Noble Companion dogs also need relatively quite a lot of exercise. These dogs are best suited for people who like outdoors and enjoy long walks or hikes, because these dogs will love it as well. You will need to properly stimulate their mind and body with regular exercise, playtime, training sessions, or you can even try some dog sport with them, for example sledding or bike joring. Without enough exercise, they can develop some unwanted behavior, such as destruction. These dogs have very descriptive name. They are named Alaskan because of their northern look, noble because of their noble appearance, and companion dog because the breeding goal was to create a great companion. 
There are no scientific studies about the breed's health, but most owners report that their dogs are quite healthy. On the other hand, some owners do have Alaska nobles who suffer from some health issues, but it doesn't mean that those are extremely common. The health issues reported by some owners include stomach problems and diarrhea, seizures, panus, angular leg deformity and hip dysplasia. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Alaska Noble Companion Dog and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocka Dogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.